Hey, I'm Aurora and I'm going to show you how I pack for a ski holiday. Because I work in the ski industry, I don't get a lot of time to go skiing when I'm not working. Whoa, whoa, let me just clarify. So between each season, I have about a month break. So when I'm in season, I get heaps of skiing in. I just mean when I'm having my holiday break between. So I'm going to the States for a couple of weeks on my month off and I'll probably be doing some skiing and some touring. And so I'm going to show you what I'm going to bring with me and I'm going to start with the bag. So I'm bringing a kind 69 liter boot deluxe bag. It has a massive compartment on the top for your stuff. And then it's got a boot flap on the bottom in here, slightly padded. Yeah, for my ski boots, and that's where I guess I could start. I'm going to be bringing my ski boots with me. I've got the Technica Mac 1. These are 110 Flex, and I've been using these boots for about three seasons, three years, so nearly six seasons. So this will be the first thing in the bag. I'm also bringing my heated socks because I can't really use anything other than my heated socks. They're lens heated socks, they're rolled up right now, but you can see the little battery port and then I've got my two lithium batteries. I'll probably have to carry these in my backpack because they are lithium ion and I have been pulled up before for leaving these in my suitcase, so it's kind of annoying, but they'll also be going in the bag. Next we'll move on to base layers and I'm taking my 100% Merino Oyuki base layers. It's just what I like to wear. It's nice and warm and I really like merino. So there's those. And then for my mid layer, I'm also bringing a merino mid layer. It's a 220 weight. I don't know, it's Montreal, so I'm bringing that. It's also really versatile for traveling. So I'll be able to wear it when I'm not skiing as well. But just for the this part of the video, I'm having it as a mid layer. On top of that, I'll also have my Patagonia Puffer down mid layer. This as well, I'll be wearing a lot for like outerwear as well when I'm not skiing. And it's really good because it also packs down really small. But for the days when it's really cold, this will be what I'm wearing for my warmth layer. And if you want to know how to layer, I also have another video which I'll put up here on how to layer for skiing and snowboarding. On top of that, I'll have my outerwear and I've got my Burton Avalon bib pants. Got a couple pairs of these and I'm bringing these ones because they're the most trashed and if I don't want to bring them home I can just leave them behind. And then on top of that I also have my Armada shell and that's the whole reason I'm bringing more layers than bringing a warm jacket because I don't know what I'll be doing. If I'm going hiking I'm going to want a shell. So this is an Armada Gore shell. It's actually my sister's. I stole it. She knows. And it's super versatile. I can even wear it when I'm not skiing, but it will be solely used for skiing for the purposes of this trip. Finally, I'll move on to accessories. I'm bringing my helmet. This I'll be hanging off my carry-on backpack because it's too big to go in the bag and it's totally normal and fine to bring it on the plane with you. Under that, I'll be wearing a Oyuki Pro Clubber. I'm just, this is just the polyester one. I sort of prefer it to the Merino one now. Just depends how cold it is on the day. Also got my Oakley flight deck goggles with a prism sapphire lens and I'm also bringing the prism high pink lens as a backup as well because again you never know what the conditions are like so it's good to have two lenses then finally for my ski gear I'm taking two pairs of gloves and bringing a pair of Oyuki liners also a pair of Oyuki Kana mitts which I've also done a review on if you want to check that out and I think this would be perfect because if I do get cold I can just whack these on but I don't normally wear a liner with my gloves or mitts anyway. So the liners are just for touring if I do go touring. The backpack I'll be taking as well. It's just a 25 litre Armada backpack and it'll probably carry most of my textile. And here's everything else. I've got a pair of slides for traveling mostly and also for slippers, two pairs of shoes. One will be in the bag. There's a fluffy polyester fleece, which can also be a mid layer, but also goes really well under my vest which is to the left of that. I've got a cotton crew neck and also a Patagonia shell for if it's raining. Below that I've got a Manhattan Portage satchel bag just for everyday use. Next to that is a packable tote and um, all for my packable totes. Also got a pair of pants, a pair of jeans, a pair of leggings, a couple of t-shirts and then a sort of nicer top and that's that strap you want on the end. 
Now onto my tech stuff. It's my laptop first up. It's an Apple MacBook 15 inch, my notebook, which I carry with me everywhere. I've got my GoPro three-way with my GoPro Hero 5, my GoPro portable charger, my GoPro Karma Grip. In that orange bag is where I carry my GoPro batteries and also my camera batteries. Then in that Patagonia bag is where I keep all the other random tech accessories like camera charger, other lens, flash, other headphones. And then I've also got my big noise cancelling headphones, some random chargers. There's a GoPro battery charger there, some sunnies. Next to that is my SyncWire USB charger and this is an absolute lifesaver for my trip to Russia. And then next to that is a Barricade XL speaker from Skullcandy. 